rock and roll. Michael Gavin, the mind mechanic, tuning up hearts and minds one at a time so your ideas don't die. Anybody in the live? Where, where, where? We don't want them to die. Where? Your hearts, heads, and hard drives. So I am here bringing your daily jump start. And as I was sitting here walking around, as I was going to walk down and do this, I was thinking about something in regards to time and saying, I'm not going to mention time or dates in these your daily jump starts. Initially, when I started, I had it like, you know, uh, where are we at? Miracle Monday, tune up Tuesday, winning Wednesday, transformation Thursday, freedom Friday. And we could even make it fun Friday, which those two kind of uh, tie hand in hand to my how habits help you win specific versus non-specific and specifically how do you build some habits to help you win, to help you succeed? So uh, that's the topic we're going to cover here today for just a little bit. And um, it's interesting because I just got this started. So what I know that can be done specifically with these Your Daily Jump Starts. So to talk about things I said I wasn't going to talk about so that I don't have to talk about them. So that we talk about them, I'm going to talk about them. Sound good? All right. So I like to have fun with these, as you can see. And uh, the more and more, my, my man Fernando just sent me, which we kind of came up with this collaboratively about a year ago, which was force versus fun. And so I think first and foremost is that when you're building habits, because consistency helps you win. Uh, I believe in life and business, right? Uh, you can take that personally and professionally when you look at things and uh, people trust people who are consistent. You know, it's one of those things where uh, you get thrown off if somebody consistently does something for weeks, months, specifically years, and then they don't, right? But you're not shocked by somebody who's inconsistent who then does something inconsistent because you, you, there's no expectation. You just, your expectation is that they're inconsistent. So they're always doing something different. They're always throwing you off. And somebody does something over and over and over again, and then they don't. But if they called you every day for two years and then they don't, you're probably like, oh my gosh. But if somebody calls you randomly whenever, I mean, you might have like, oh, you're calling me, but you're not like thrown off like you would be if somebody does something consistent. So for me, I know that I'm doing these on Facebook Live and to apply this to whatever, and I have a little, hopefully I'll remember it here. Actually, I'll say it now before I say that, because that I know is that, uh, you know, I get my wife a bottle of water. We're, we're doing something. I'm up. Hey, give me a bottle of water. And she likes cold water. I'm regular with room temperature. And so something that I found is that if it's the last water in there and I'm the one grabbing it, and again, you can apply this to a lot of different things. But what I found is, is that immediately I can go through, probably need to grab another thing of water, da, 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 put some in, da, 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 da. But I might default to, I'll do that later. How many of you are doing something, trying something, wanting to do something, you say, I'll do it later. Like, you know, right in that moment, I'll do it later. Now you can practice the later part and remember and do it later. Or if you're anything like me, what I found is, is if I don't do it right then and there, which wasn't going to be something that was going to take me an extra, you know, hour, 10 minutes, or even probably 60 seconds, is that I don't do it later. It gets away from me. And then the later comes, and maybe the same scenario is happening, and I don't have any cold water for my wife, right? And so what I realized is that do it right then and there. If I can do it, it's not going to take much extra time. Rather than say, I'll do it later, I do it now. The more times I do it now, there's no forgetting. Because in the beginning, I might think that and I don't do it. And I think that I don't do it. I don't think that and I don't do it. Then I think it and I do it. Then I think it and I do it. Then I think it and I don't do it, right? Because the habit that's been built is thinking and not doing versus continuing to practice the thinking and doing, the thinking and doing. So that's super simple. And you could apply that in a lot of areas just personally. It can also help professionally, right? You know, I always say happy wife, happy life. Played out pretty well. <laughs> I'm happy too, though. Um, now, let me talk about this, this your daily jumpstart, something that I really wanted to do. And I've done versions of these things, a different varied of, of periods of time in the past, but I didn't have all the tools to kind of process how would I do this. So a lot of times I would be forcing things. Well, I got to do it at a specific time and I got to come up with specific titles and I got to spend a lot of prep time on these and I got, 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 I write all these have tos. 
I got us and I have tos. Well, that I would do, but I didn't like to a lot of it. And my, my concept, my, my mission is people to realize first me, which I have in a lot of ways, and it's a continued practice is you get to create your life your way. And outside of stoplights and certain legalities in the world, there's a lot of things where we're creating rules for our own life that make life difficult, don't make life fun, and we're forcing things. And so what I found is that, take this, I first said I'm going to have Miracle Monday, Tune Up Tuesday, Winning Wednesday, Transformation Thursday. I didn't even make it through the week before I found that ain't going to be fun. Plain and simple. I'm like, Okay, now every Monday I have to think, is there a topic I can cover around miracles and speak about miracles? And I'm like, that's not who I am. I'm not this planner that in my whole life, I have done very well in life abiding by this principle. In the times in my life that I haven't, I've been, I do not as well and I don't have as much fun. And if I'm not having fun, for me particularly, at times, I'm inconsistent. If I'm inconsistent in, in my life, it doesn't feel as good, and I don't do as well. So therefore, I really like consistency. But when I'm doing something new, it's about building that habit. And you read all sorts of different books at the time frame it takes to build a habit. And my Lord, I mean, it changes all the time, it feels like. And different people have different things. And just speaking of what works for me and what's helped work for other people. And so what I've realized, I started like that. I'm going to do it at 9 a.m. live on Facebook, Monday through Friday. And I'm going to have Miracle Monday, Tune Up Tuesday, these different things. And I'm going to keep them to exact minutes of, of, amount of time. I didn't even make it through the week. I started to be like, eh, I really enjoy this, right? So then I'm just like, okay, we'll delete calling it any day of the week, you know, any Wednesday or coming up with different W's. And then right now, you know, today we had a thing scheduled for our puppies to get their hair cut at 9 a.m. Well, uh, because this was a new thing that I sparked to do, I'm like, well, we do we move it around. We get them there earlier. What do I got to do? And then um, um, I'm just like, well, I can do it earlier. And I just did that the other day because specific versus non-specific. So for me, that particular thing is thinking, is doing it five days a week more important or doing it five days, like just doing it five days a week, just that simply clicking the button and doing one of these, these, your daily jump starts. It's just doing it, just clicking the button and doing it more important or alternatively doing it at 9 a.m. with a specific uh, topic, day of the week and all these other things, right? You see how I start adding it on. Which one's more important that I do that or that or that I do the consistent without all the other things versus I do the other one for two weeks and I stop. Or I'm inconsistent there. Or I give up and I quit. That's what people do when they're working out, when they start these New Year's resolutions and they're trying to build habits that aren't fun. And now there might be things initially that aren't fun in them, but by and large, if you don't find that there's a spark of desire, of really wanting to, of really enjoying I find that a lot of people, not all people, I, I, I'm trying more and more all the time to not put everyone and everybody and everything because, you know, there's always exceptions. Um, and that exceptions could add up to millions, right? But by and large, I find that there's a lot of people, especially people who attract into my world, where if they're not having fun doing something, they stop doing that something. Some people like to like experience pain. <laughs> getting into that. I'm not really one of those types of people. Um, I like to enjoy most things. And that doesn't mean I'm not uncomfortable at times. I don't challenge myself or any of that. But, but ultimately, like when I go for a bike ride, I'm not like trying to like, oh, man, what a heck of a ride, man. I am just sweating. Holy cow. That was a hard ride. You know, I'm like, no, it's not me. I like to know in the comments, is that you? Is it you? Or are you more like me? Like I I'm going out. I, I like, I got a bike right down here in my basement, but I don't really like riding it. It's because I don't really love riding a bike. I like riding a bike outside as best I can. And, you know, being able to see, feel the air, all these other elements. That's important to me more than it is just get on there and ride for 20 minutes on a stationary bike, right? So I, I, I've, I've got the ingredients and I'm looking at it. So for me, 
I know that by and large, most people aren't going to catch this doggone thing live anyways. So the fact that I need to hold myself accountable to this 9 a.m., you know, day of the week, all these things that then have me not having fun, which may have me give up, which then has it not get the result. Same thing with working out, right? It would be better to work out or do something uh, and take smaller steps to build up, right? Then change everything and then give up because you can't work out for 24 hours and eat really well and then not do it ever again for two months and expect to lose weight, right? It'd be better to go for a walk 10 minutes a day, seven days a week, than a four and a half hour walk once a week. Now, I don't know all the semantics and health things and this and that, but the truth of the matter is it's finding the patterns and the rhythms that work for you. You know, I just watched a, a video recently by a guy who's worth tens of millions of dollars and friends with a bunch of billionaires named Alex Hormozzi. You know, and he's like, you don't have to be a morning person to be rich. You don't have to be an evening person, right? There's lots of different people with lots of different habits and lots of different patterns and they get up early. It's about what syncs up with you. Because what syncs up with somebody else, and you know, I talk about mind mechanic, we think of car mechanic, we think of cars and vehicles, right? If you're an all gas powered car, you can't be buying Tesla parts for your car. You can't be having somebody convince you that it's better for you to have you know, this electric charger in your car or in your garage and install and it's $4,000 and you know, it'll pay for itself in 12 months and you have a gas powered car. Know yourself, it is so important. It is so, so very important because when you know yourself, you know, you're a gas powered car and you know, you can tweak things and do things for that, right? If you know you're a morning person and it works for 20 years until for one reason or another, it doesn't feel right. Maybe you need to try the evening. You're like, ah, I guess, I guess I've changed, evolved. And I might take some habit to build that up, some practice, but then you can do that. And then that serves you better. So it's about what serves you because when you serve you, People think, oh, it's selfish and this. When you serve you, you serve everyone else at a far deeper and better level. Because truly, if you got a short fuse, if you're not happy, if you're not enjoying life, if you're not having fun, you're likely taking that out on other people and especially those closest to you. And I've seen that with me at times in my life where I'm my fuse was really short, like four years ago or so. Say something, boom, I'm snapped. And I'm irritated or upset. Now my fuse is pretty long again. It was earlier in my life for most of my life. And then there was a period of time, lots of stress, overwhelm, overwork, not syncing up with things that work for me. And just, you know, all those kind of things add up to where then I got a really short fuse it would set me off. Now I'm back to that time where it takes a lot to, <laughs> to upset me. Um, but it's starting as small and simple as you can and getting in the habit of that. So for me, you know, I wanted to make sure I just click the live button, do this, your daily jumpstart. Then, then I can start adding on these other elements of getting it onto podcasts and YouTube and getting some help with it and all of that. I'm, I'm, I'm doing some of it behind the scenes, but I'm not committing to being like, these are loaded to podcasts every day and YouTube. I don't have that habit built. I'm just trying to build the habit and the routine of just doing it to begin with. Because if I don't keep doing it, none of that matters. Right. If you don't keep working out, if you don't keep writing, if you don't keep recording videos, if you don't keep practicing, it doesn't really, all the other things. I've had some people that I really, I love this statement. Too many of us are planning, you know, planning for problems that the, the, the first problem doesn't even exist. Right. Because we have people who are 10 steps ahead. They're letting us know about all that could happen. And then we're worried about the future. Then when we haven't even worried about the present. Somebody's like, oh, if I give all that away, I'm not going to be able to scale. I'm not going to be able to do this. You haven't even made one sale yet. Make the first sale. Do the first thing. Get in a rhythm. Get in a pattern. Then when those things start to happen, you can deal with them then. But if you try to deal with everything at once, which most of the things don't even exist, but you psychologically get overwhelmed and then you quit or you stop, you never end up having the real problems, you just have imaginary ones, which I believe through the work that I've done, most problems in people's lives, most, not all, are imaginary in our mind. And if we can recognize that, we can start to imagine different outcomes, different futures, different scenarios, and the imagination can serve us and move us forward rather than hurt us and keep us moving backwards. So my friends, your daily jumpstart, Michael Gavin, Mind Mechanic. Tune it up, hearts and minds, one at a time, so your ideas don't die and your hearts, heads, and hard drives. Check out mindtuneuptimelive.com. You can register for the Zooms there every Tuesday. 
that I am in the habit uh, for, I think, going on 25, 26 weeks of at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, I jump on there and I coach a couple new people. Um, and so if you want to be one of them, send me a message or just join, raise your hand and we'll get rocking and rolling. Um, because that is where I really move mountains in people's lives is when I get to hear you. Because when I say, when I hear you, I can help you. I really, really believe that. And I know that to be true because then you get specific help rather than generic. So my friend, have an amazing day. Keep rocking, keep rolling. And we'll talk soon. Take care.